back, can't find my way back, but I'm tripping on love hack. You do me like that. Mm -hmm. we hey, hey, it's Jose here to slay with salt. I'm not sure I have these shades on, so I'm going to take them off. Okay. Um, so today I am going to do my first story time. It's Valentine's Day, y'all, and this is really not one of my favorite holidays. Bitter bitch alert. So it takes place when I was around 18, and I was just about to turn 19, and I was with my first boyfriend. And it was pretty, the relationship was, okay, let me get y'all to school how I got him, because I'm gonna have to give you a little bit of backstory. How I got him, I took him from his girlfriend, who I knew. Don't think of me in the wrong way, y'all. It happened, I was, I was young, okay? Back then, I was just so, like, grasping for attention. <laughs> Please don't judge me, but yeah, I was, like, grasping for attention, and he was giving it. It wasn't like he was just, like, bombs.com or anything, but it was just the fact that he, I felt like he was choosing me over his girlfriend, and it made me feel really good. Back then, okay, that is not who I am anymore. Yeah. <laughs> Couple days before Valentine's Day, we were on the rocks, little rocky road, a little, you know, trouble in paradise, or whatever, what have you. And I kind of figured that was going to happen. For me, I was really excited about this day because this was going to be my first Valentine's with a, a boy. Like, I would have my first boyfriend and my first Valentine's. I was going to get Valentine's gifts and be splurged on. But when he started acting funny, I'm like, Ugh. I knew this was gonna come, but he better get that shit together by the time the 14th come, because I would, I refuse to go another year without a Valentine. Okay? <laughs> I called him Valentine's Day morning, and like, oh, what's up? Mind you, we had a little argument the day before, but it wasn't big, it was something small. When I tell y'all, this man ignored me all day, that motherfucking day. That's why I put them fucking shades on. Because I was mad. But yeah, so I'm like, yo, he's really not answering his phone. So, the way I was back then, I'm probably still this way. I'm just not sure. Don't have me in, so I don't know. Bitch, I guess Inspector Gadget, some, uh, where in the world is Carmen San Diego on that ass? I be, I be looking up some shit. Back then, people didn't know about, like, me and his relationship. It was, a, like, a selective few, which is, like, my family, because, you know, they don't give a fuck. And one of his cousins, everybody else just thought we were friends. For some reason, people always told me shit about him. So I got in touch with his cousin. Now, mind you, like I said before, this is not the cousin that knows about us. This was another cousin that thought we were just friends or whatever the case may be. Fine. I got in touch with him and I'm like, yo, where's Blase Blah at? Let's call him since we're doing story time. It's only tradition. Chewy. <laughs> He told me that Chewy was at the mall with Miss Thought and Bob. Let's call her Miss Thought and Bob. Man, eh? he at the mall with what? Ended up calling him and blowing his phone up, whatever the case may be. Never got in touch with him. This man didn't call me until like 10 o'clock that night. Hello? I'm like, hello? Like, real hello. I said, where the fuck was you at all day? Like, I've been calling your phone all day. Like, you have not answered me. It's Valentine's Day. I have not got to see my boyfriend all Valentine's Day. Like, what the fuck is the problem? Shall we? So, he's like, I was asleep. I just, I was knocked out. Um, I ain't been feeling good. And we were, I was mad. And I just wound up going to sleep. I was playing my game on the internet. Fucking World of Warcraft. Hated that fucking game. I, I played it with him. But I hated it because that's... What he chose over me. Another story. So, I'm like... You were sleeping all day? Like, you were sleep all fucking day. You slept the whole day away. I said, no the fuck you wasn't. You was at the motherfucking mall with Miss Thought and Bob. You were doing this and this and blah, blah, blah. He was like, all I did was bought her some black and miles. I had to meet her up. I'm like, it does not fucking matter. You were asleep. How the fuck did you buy blacks? How the fuck did you get to the mall and you were fucking asleep? Huh, Chewy? How? 
Cause y'all inspect the gadget up in this bitch. I does the research. He was like, I mean, I was mad at you at that. It don't fucking matter. So you spent your motherfucking Valentine's Day with some other bitch and not your bitch. What's the problem? What is the problem? And mind y'all, y'all, I'm in relationships. I'm faithful. I like to communicate. I like to, you know, I do have a little attitude, but it's not bad enough to the point where you want to just leave me. It's not like that, I don't think. Hello? Maybe it was. He wasn't secure about himself as a man. That was the problem. I started crying. <laughs> Little punk bitch. I'm crying or whatever, and I'm just like, this is fucked up. Like, this is, you are my, like, first, you're my first boyfriend, and this is my first Valentine's Day. I swore up and down I was gonna have a fucking Valentine. Blah, say, blah, say, blah. And guess what happened to me? I got fucking stood up. I ain't get talked to or not, blah, 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 blah. Mind y'all. I wrote this nigga a nice ass poem, and I'm like, my poems be on point. They be on fleek fleek. My shit was on on a honey. I wrote him this nice ass poem. I got him, I think earrings. It was something I cannot remember. But I got him something, and I was just ready to spend the day with my man. Go out to eat, you know, do a, just do a little. Not too much, but a little. Okay. Pero no. He wants to be at the mall with fucking Miss Thigh and Bob. And if you saw her, you would be like, you, like, really? You gonna go? And then, what? Okay. So, long story time short, um, I stayed with him. <laughs> but not for long. So, if you guys want to hear what happens next after this part of the relationship, or if you want to hear what happened at the beginning, or if you want to hear anything else, comment it down below so that I have some ideas about what you guys want to hear when it comes to my story times, because I'm just starting this, but I think that I have a lot of stories, y'all. My life is pretty interesting. I'm not like a boring bitch, and I really got like a lot of shit going on. So just comment down below what you want to hear about. Um, ask questions, and I'll make story times about those, and we'll try to do those at least once a week or whatever the case may be. Um, but yeah, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, do all the good things that you're supposed to, tap those notifications on so you can get everything that I post. I will be posting another video, um, today, so, but you will see this outfit again. Um... Yeah, make sure y'all do all the things that you're supposed to do for these videos. I really appreciate y'all coming by. I really appreciate y'all watching my stuff. Thank you for the comments, the feedback, all that bomb shit. Um, yeah. Just make sure you guys fuck with your girl. You feel me? All right, y'all. I'll talk to y'all bitches later. Bye-bye. Uh,